Alrighty, I went and bought these goggles off of eBay uh, some not long ago, but when they were they should have lasted a lot longer, but the little band here, which is uh, this thing, well it's elastic I guess, it's supposed to be, boy there ain't no stretch to it, it got so bad you can't fight this thing, couldn't do no work or nothing, so I thought well what am I going to use, I thought well I've got to take a, I guess I could take a bicycle inner tube, you know, cut that out. And which that's what I did. I cut the center piece out so it kind of, kind of uh, conformed to the shape. Not that it matters on that, but before I come up with that idea, idea of the uh, rubber off the inner tube, I was thinking, boy, I wonder what I can get. I guess maybe go to Walmart and get some more elastic. And I thought, well, that won't be no better than what I got. But uh, this theory really works. I mean, it pulls it tight. I did have to tape this with black tape. Not very pretty the way I did, but it kept slipping out of here. But man, once I got that like that, that is that's a good that's a, that holds. And they're good little goggles. Actually, they're soft. They don't hurt your face. And you can flip them up. You need to see better and push them back down if you're going to be plasma cutting or I guess uh, settling. Cutting. I ain't got no settling torch, so I use a plasma cutter a lot. But anyway, it's just a short little video in case somebody like me didn't think of it right away and uh, find something that actually work and this really does it might be better to use a car inner tube because this is thin but I don't know if it makes any difference and the thing about it is I've got plenty more of that tube left in case this breaks or whatever I can fix her again alright well uh, that's just a short little thing in case anybody didn't figure out what to do with their broken goggles so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing